sales process automation overview now the lead management part we have already seen that how we are capturing a lead and just a review again that we are running a campaign and then we can import directly or we can have directly link from our website where they come as a web form then we can insert the leads into the vtiger crm so once you have the lead capturing finished then you do the follow-ups like you perform the activity you call them you send them an email or you arrange the meeting with them by by configuring the to-do list or events inside the vtiger crm and once hopefully you follow up the process once you follow up the leads definitely if it is a qualified then you can change the status of the lead as hot and qualified or if it is not qualified then again you can change the lead status as junk or not qualified and in the future you can retarget them so once you have the lead status as qualified then you can further convert that leads which you have seen previously in the lead management modules and as you can see once you convert the lead the lead is split into the contacts and organizations and then for that lead once it is split into the contact and organization you create the opportunity with the business you are expecting with them and then again you follow up with the opportunities okay so the monitor the opportunity Opportunities you can monitor that opportunities like by calling, meeting, demos, proposal, quotation, and you do the negotiation, whatever. And hopefully, for following with the opportunity, either you can win the deal or you might lose the deal, and then you can retarget them after a certain time. So this is how the overall the sales process automation inside of VTiger CRM. Now we will see follow up with the sales process inside of VTiger CRM. Let's see that.